Good morning, everyone. This is Benjamin Raymond with MLive.com with your weather report for Monday, February 11. Going to let some people join in before we get started. Good morning, everyone. This is uh, Benjamin Raven with the weather. Uh, Monday, February 11. I'm going to let some people join in because we're going to get right into it. If you've been reading our website in the last 12 hours, you are full, fully aware that we have got some stuff going on in Michigan. I'm going to turn you around. No need to look at my face this morning too much because I've got some nice graphics and radars. And uh, now that we've got enough people in, let's lead with the fact that every single county in Michigan is under a watch, warning, or advisory starting Monday night, overnight Monday, into Wednesday. I'm doing good, everyone. I'm ready to get into the weather, and I know you guys are ready to hear about it because we do have some stuff on the way. Once again, this is Benjamin Raven. I'm in for Mark Torgros this morning. I know he's been posting and stuff, but I'm handling uh, the Facebook Weather Live this morning. And uh, Let's get right into it because I want to show you guys this. Uh, yeah, more snow days. I mean, I don't want to jinx anything, but uh, I would say that snow days are definitely on the way because for those just joining in, Every single county in Michigan, warning, watch, or advisory of some kind, starting tonight through Wednesday morning. Hey there, Benjamin Raven, filling in for Mark Torgrosa today. Let's get right into it now that you guys are nice and here. This is the map I want to talk about. Look at that right there. Every single county in Michigan. We've got West Michigan and Southwest Michigan under a winter weather advisory. The rest of the lower peninsula is under a winter storm watch. The UP's got two, both of those going on too, and a winter storm warning. Yeah, I keep on wishing it away because uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I guess that's my job this morning. Um, uh, one thing to note about these, uh, there you go, you can see all my weather tabs going. That's that's a, that's when you know it's a good weather morning going on. Uh, uh, all these warnings, watches, and advisories, they go into effect Monday night, overnight Monday, through Wednesday morning. So these are... These are not active right now, but these are on the way. They are already issued. Uh, let's get to this map. Let's see if I can find the right tab here. Here we go. This is a very nice map here. Look at that that line right there on the state of Michigan. That The blue is the snow. The pink is a wintry mix, and this shaded, us lucky people down here. Oh, man. Yeah, all of us here from St. Joe's, Kalamazoo, Jackson, Hillsdale, south of Grand Rapids, Ah, oh, yep, I'm in that. Greatest ice, ice accumulations in that shaded zone. Just take that in right there. That's an important map right there. That is our ice line. That is just a mess everywhere because four to seven inches, you know, the higher accumulation, the more accumulation, the more north, excuse me, wow, tongue twister. More accumulation, the more north you go, more ice accumulation, the south, the more south you go. And then this is the area for ice right here. We'll get into that. National Weather Service has been just bringing the graphics all day long. It's been a busy day of changes and stuff like that. But yeah, there you go right there for those just joining us. That's that's wild right there. And I, <laughs> I don't know. This one might not be changing because wave one, wave one. You never want to see the word wave one in a weather report or a weather graphic. And that is what they're talking about here. Here is our radar coming in. This is an extended radar isn't that lovely right there? Oh my goodness. I mean, just watch it engulf like the whole Midwest right there. That is what's coming with us. If you can see our timestamp up here, just subtract subtract about, uh, where's our Z time right here? Yeah, here we go. You can see the time up here. Yeah, that, yeah. I wanna, <laughs> look at that mix just converging together. And as I said, wave one, this is what I meant by wave one. We've got three storms on track. This is what we're looking at right now. This is what we're looking at right now. Here's number two developing. And here's already number three developing up here. The National Weather Service is, has been calling this a like perfect weather pattern to bring possibly three significant winter storms to Michigan in the next week. That's not including last week's storm. It is including this week's storm, but there might be two on the way. Oh, yeah. So just prepare for that. You know, yeah. 
Well, it might be starting today. Yeah, we're just gonna stick with the graphics. These are snow and ice accumulations. This is ice accumulations down here with the snow because as you could tell from that first graphic I showed you, this is in that area that's in the most uh, ice accumulations. But here you go, I mean, look at the snow. That snow is not joking around. Five to six inches up in Saginaw, three to four projected in Flint. This is uh, from Monday night, overnight Monday into Wednesday morning. So that's some serious, serious snow and ice right here. I think I had something else down here. Yeah, these are, uh, this is ice accumulation we're looking at for the thumb in eastern Michigan over here overnight, Monday into Tuesday. We're going to keep on rolling. I'll let you guys check that out. It's shaking a little bit. Here's our UP forecast. Like I said, uh, the further north you go, the more snow you're going to get. The UP is looking at a substantial amount of snow over the next couple of days. So just hang on for that. Absolutely ice on the way for Monroe County. Swartz Creek is going to be right in the mix of that snow and ice line around Flint and stuff. Yeah, good morning from Ann Arbor. And, uh, well, we already know all that. We know all that. Here's a temperature map for you. Uh, they, these are our highs for the day. Not, not much swinging uh, from temperature-wise. Overnight lows. Obviously, the colder, the further north you go. But uh, we're going to be in the low to mid-20s. The further north you go, you're going to get into those high teens. Then, obviously, up here, Grand Marais. And these areas up here, single digits. Uh, snow. Snow, snow, snow for Houghton Lake. The further north you go, the more snow. The further south you go, the more ice. Uh, here's some wind gusts we're looking at. Uh, because we are looking at some strong wind gusts coming throughout the week. The first... Yeah, Detroit is looking uh looking very very icy overnight before turning to snow later in the week, but uh it's going to be the second wave of storms this week is looking like snow and wind. And uh we've got some solid wind coming in today with these snow. Uh I think I had one more graphic here. Here's a great uh video from the National Weather Service I found that we can go through right here. This is our radar. Uh check out the time right here as that radar comes in. This is what we're looking at. Yeah, just a solid mix. Let's keep this baby rolling for all of you. This should answer some questions right here. Yeah, look at, I mean, that's just ridiculous. This is the first of three ways. We're going to roll through everything one time here. And uh, I do want to say that uh, last yesterday in Metro Detroit, I went to a movie at 4 p.m. It was clear. It was there was no sun. It was just a plain gray day. Two and a half hours go by. I go out and they're completely covered in snow. Completely covered in snow. For those just joining us here, we are every single county in Michigan is under some t sort of watch, advisory, or warnings going active tonight, Monday night, overnight Monday, um, and these last through Wednesday. Every Michigan county is under something here. Let's go right through the good stuff one more time. For those that missed, this is what we're looking at through Wednesday. Uh, greatest ice accumulations in that shaded area. Kalamazoo, St. Joe's, Hillsdale, Jackson, Detroit, Ann Arbor. A little north of that, Grand Rapids, Lansing, Flint through the thumb. That's going to be a solid... That's going to be a solid line of just a wintry mix. Below that's going to be ice. And then the further north you go, all that blue, that's snow. That is the same for the UP. They're going to be looking at a hefty amount of snow and wind. Snow and wind mix ice. Ice, ice, ice. Finish the line for me. Uh, here's that radar again. This is the first wave of storm that's coming in. Uh, let me see my times here. Here's a... Uh, dun, 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 dun. We go fully engulfed under the storm about midnight. So look for storms to start hitting Michigan about midnight tonight. Uh, and this is through the early morning hours, Tuesday. That's just going to keep moving up through there. Uh, this was another one. I saw somebody commenting about the three storm systems on the way. This is exactly what happened last week. They came straight down from here. Here's what we're looking at for the early part of the week. This one's the second wave of the storms. And this is the one that they're already warning us about. Friday evening travel to Big Rapids. Wave wave two, we're looking at... Huh, let me go through my 35 pages of notes right now on weather. Uh, wave two, we're looking at Tuesday night into Wednesday. Snow and strong winds. Snow and strong winds are going to be coming through right behind this first wave of storms. I just want to bring us back here. This I feel like this is the most important graphic right here for anybody looking to travel. Overnight Monday through Wednesday. I mean, you can pretty much... 
keep it here for the rest of the week. I mean, it's going to be almost a carbon... Co- like Mark... I love Mark Torogrosa's headline this morning, if you missed his weather report. A carbon copy of last week's weather. Last week's weather, Think, just treat it like that again. And go read uh, Mark's post. He did a great job on that, bringing everything together. Once again... <laughs> I don't know, this is even a lot for Michigan. I see people saying, you know, this is Michigan, what do you expect? Well, it's just been a storm after a storm after a storm and after a storm, and we're looking at three potentially this week. Once again, yeah, right here, and uh, I just want to show this timeline. This is timeline us through the day, and when that storm starts to hit Michigan, it's about midnight. A little extended forecast, you can just see how this all just comes together. Yeah. And that's just going to roll through us right there. I'll leave this loop, and I see a lot of people joining in right now. This is an extended radar, not current, overnight Monday into early Tuesday morning. That's not looking great. Standish is getting everything that we're all getting. Uh, ice, snow, wintry mix through the rest of the week. You know, I mean, that's that's what's going on here. There's going to be an act. I think this is the line I wrote down after looking at everything. I usually write down on a page of notes, like, try and summarize the weather into one sentence. Active wintry mix pattern through the end of the week. This is just going to continue through the end of the week. The first and the second storm are going to be carbon copies of last week. The third one, as far out as it is, we're not exactly sure, you know, because it's an extended look, but we know what to expect for this one. Snow north of here with wind. Mix ice, ice, ice. I mean, it's going to be icy and windy. Uh, drifting snow, all that stuff. I mean, we are getting every winter term you've ever heard, read, or said out loud we're going to have this week. Once again, schools be canceled. I, you know, I'm not a predictor on that, but everything I've been read, reading, reading, everything I've been reading this morning is warning of more power outages, more school cancel, cancellations. I'm just saying this is like a basic carbon copy of last week's storm. So if your kids were home last week, <laughs> I'm not predicting anything, but kind of prepare for that just because that wintry mix and ice is going to take a lot over of lower Michigan and the snow and the wind is going to make an absolute mess in northern Michigan and the UP. Uh, You know, I'm not sure on Friday or Saturday, but we are expecting it to be snow on Friday and Saturday because the second wave of storms is supposed to be mostly snow. So, I mean, if you're going snowmobiling, you might be in, you might be having a good time this upcoming weekend. Um, too far out to say on ice, you know, um, this first wave is going to be ice. The second wave, everything I've been reading is most of it is going to shift to snow and heavy winds and stuff like that. Absolutely. Thanks for the update. Trying to get everybody. We're a little widespread today. It's easy to break things up. Basically, if you're south of Mount Pleasant, it's going to be a wintry mix. If you're south of Lansing, it's going to be ice. If you're north of Mount Pleasant, it's going to be snow and wind. We're all getting something. We're all in this together because if you want to remember, that is us. Monday through Wednesday. Absolutely, yeah. There's not too much more I can go through. For those that joined a little late, I mean, we'll go through the basics. This is your high temperature for today. Not too much to talk about today. That's not really the focus. Uh, low temperatures overnight, not much changing. Uh, overnight Monday, this is looking to start. Overnight Monday, all those watches and advisory are through Wednesday morning. Tomorrow is going to be rough wherever you are in the state of Michigan, in the Great Lakes or Midwest region. You live here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I appreciate you guys watching and all that. Um, let's see here. I want to show this one one more time. I really like this one. This was a late find right here. There you go. <laughs> For everybody asking about events in school, the weather service has it listed right there. Plan on outages, plan on cancellations. Uh, this is. I like this graphic. This is my most recent graphic I found right here. It's got a nice time stamp. Uh, not expecting wind chills to go that low again. <laughs> I don't know about turning your heat down yet. We'll keep an eye on that. <laughs> Hopefully it's not an exact carbon copy. But yeah. Absolutely, guys. Uh, stick with MLive through the rest of the week. We're going to be all over it. Once again, overnight Monday into Wednesday morning. If you don't have to go out. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, don't go out. If you do, proceed with caution. Add some time to your travel. Check the M.M Drive app. We're going to be doing our best to bring you all the weather, traffic, travel updates. Uh, I'm not, you know, I don't know about yearly. 
I mean, we were looking pretty mild winter until the last couple of weeks, right? I mean, ask somebody what they thought of the Michigan winter three weeks ago and ask them today and they're going to have a different answer. But, um, here we go. Let's, uh, sh let's, let's end on this radar right here for everyone just coming in. As you can see, the clock up there, midnight. Yeah. Yeah, we're looking, I mean, St. Joe's, it looks like St. Joe's should start feeling that wintry mix about midnight, 11 p.m., and then the rest of the state shortly after. There we go, guys. But hey, uh, thanks for tuning in. If you just joined in, you can watch this or find it on the MLive YouTube page before too long. We went through a lot today. Uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Once again, this is Benjamin Raven uh, filling in for Mark Torregrosa today. Stick with M Live for the rest of the week. It's going to be a busy one. We'll see you tomorrow morning. And uh, stick with MLive.com.